Marley right and we just setting up at the farmer's market. Everyone getting ready, moving and grooving. The flame candles, y'all better check her out. She got the best candles, I'm telling y'all. They got some beautiful flowers right there. You know, we getting set up. Come become a member. Support the Love Always Foundation. It's coming. Here, look at me, Marley. Marley, look. Look at Daddy. All right. It's delicious. It's the kale. The kale is what got me. So she has the garden kiss. It's delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Food truck, brother. We're in a food truck right now. We got the Bowling Green Market. I'm about to hit you back in a second. It's hot on this thing. We need some AC. So they got the garden kisses. Let me know what y'all think. Ooh, I actually really like that. Delicious. I love it. Salute. All right. All right. What y'all think of them? How are they? All right, so she got the I love you very much and the two strawberry banana smoothie. What y'all think? They're good, yeah. All right, I appreciate y'all. So what'd you get? I got the Mississippi water. How is it? It's great. I'm coming back next week. <laughs> and she got the? Blackberry popsicle. How is it? Super good. Ooh, appreciate y'all for shopping with the garden and treats. Thank you. Ucha. So it was the first market of the season. Uh, it was a great market. Uh, there was a lot of new faces there, a lot of returning uh, faces that we seen last season at the market. It was really good. And I feel like we're gonna continue to grow and build connections with those within the Bowling Green community and those who venture in into the Bowling Green community to check out the farmer's market in the uh, local areas and other shops that surround. There were some great vendors there. There are gonna be even more vendors. Uh, for the next market. So if you ever in Bowling Green, Ohio, pull up on us, it's on four to seven or every Wednesday until like October something, pull up on us. You know what's crazy? I was uh, tagging the Bowling Green Farmer's Market in Virginia. They tagged me in the post like, you know you tagging us over here in Virginia. I had to hit them back like, my bad. You know what, If we, when we ever travel in East, I'm gonna have to come check y'all out to see what y'all about. I tagged them for a reason, you feel me? But other than that, it was good. The wife did amazing on the truck. Sage was in the belly, German name. She did well also. She was up almost the whole time. Marley did amazing taking orders. She's learning her economics and giving customers their change back, uh, telling them her name, asking how they're doing. She's doing, she's doing amazing. And so uh, it's been an impeccable experience. It is keeping on. So I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, in the process, uh, when we was running a food truck at the Bowling Green Farmer's Market, uh, 201 South Main Street in Bowling Green, Ohio, it had cut off. I don't know what exactly happened, but I couldn't get it back to start. And so we cranked this one up. And so right now, as you can see, I need to fix the drawstring. Uh, it had, I done pulled it out. So I need to fix that. 
I recently changed the oil on this one, so the oil is good on this one. It is leaking a little bit, and so I got to figure it out. I think it is a the uh, the seal valve, what it is, and so I have got to got to. It is. It's not even leaking as much as it was before, and so that's a good thing. And so I'm about to go ahead and fix this, and this is good. This is good. It's all good now. So all right, I can finally end and finish that one video from the farmer's market. I want you to uh, explain to us your first experience back at the market this season. How was it? The market was great. It was very fun. A lot of our old supporters from last year, not old, but our supporters from last year came back to see us again. So it was really nice to see them and it was good times. All right. Question, how was it working, not working, growing on a food truck belly uh it's actually not that bad when it's hot it can be uh a little rough because i get out of breath easier and uh but other than that it's, it's not bad but i can say that gardening this year planting this year has been a lot rougher than when i was pregnant with marley and texas is hotter i don't know why it's been rougher maybe i was more in shape in texas but 